using small chainsaws. Phase 3, Cutting Up Backyard Trees. William Hovey Smith, 2012. Well, this is Backyard Tree Removal, Phase 3, Small Chainsaws. Yeah, got a little chainsaw. I've already cut up a fair-sized limb with it, so I know it works. And we've adjusted the tension on the chain, which is about right. We've got gas and oil in it, so we're about ready to go. Now, what we're going to do is cut off these pieces here, like this limb, that have a maximum thickness of about five to six inches. That's about as much as this chainsaw will comfortably handle. And so we're going to show you doing a little bit of that and how we cut up these various piles we've got around so you can do it safely. You want to start with these large offending sticking out branches like this just to get them out of the way so you can mow the lawn and whatever else you need to do and restrict the trunk. So we're going to cut this piece off first. pieces like this that are too crooked or irregular to make good firewood and so we're going to put these on the burn pile and uh, just get rid of these. At the moment we have run through our first reservoir of fuel on the chainsaw. So uh, while the chainsaw was cooling off and by the way it should before you refuel it I went ahead and stacked up what I'd cut that was decent for firewood, which as you see is not terrible much. Uh, the problem with pecan is it grows so twisted and crooked that it's difficult to get a straight length of good firewood out of any given branch without making a lot of different length cuts. So this is not like some nice trees that you can cut up in nice uniform lengths. Uh -uh. <laughs> the whole pecan just doesn't work that way. 
on these branches, you want to pay attention as to how they're interconnected and actually what you're cutting. With a group laying like this, for example, you want to start from the top, say like here, and here, and here, and watch out because these things are going to flop one way or another as you change the weight balance ratio. Now, I've taken the precaution of clearing completely everything underfoot. What you do not want to do is get your feet tangled up in these branches as you cut them. You want a clear space to stand in, and you also want a reasonably clear space for your wood to fall, even if you have to stop and clear away some stuff and then resume. <laughs> One thing that will happen with chainsaws is they will throw their chains from time to time. So when they do, you need to take off this bearing plate here. And almost all makers will give you a tool that looks something like this. Okay, I've got it caught up at the back here around the hub and I'm fitting the chain to the bar right now. So ultimately, the chain should move when it's ready. Okay, so that's right. So you pull it taut, you take your plate, You'll notice there's an adjustment here on this screw, and it fits right square in the middle of this bolt. So that's where you want to have it to start with. They're all right. Fit that in. It should fit down tight. Take your screws. You put the nuts on them. Now you don't want to cinch them up right now because you want to take the tension out of this adjustment right now. Okay. All right, that's on straight and running, so now you tighten it up all the way. I have already somewhat reduced this pile, and the trick here is to make sure that you have pieces like this either braced underfoot or well caught up in the pile so they don't turn on you and jump around as you try to cut them. So that's what we're going to try to do here. And I've got my cart right over there, so in these light pieces like this, as I cut them, I'll just throw them in the cart and get them out of the way.
chainsaw has been with me since the early 1980s. It is a model 1975, and it is dead. Uh, it's been throwing the blades. It's been losing oil as fast as I can pour it in there. And most recently, the engine started smoking like mad, and I can't get it started. Now is the time, I do believe, to give this thing an honorable retirement, salvage it for parts, and go and get another model. So that's exactly what I plan to do to continue with Phase 3 Small Chainsaw. Phase 3 Small Chainsaws is now complete. Behind me you see a stack of stove and fireplace wood that was cut with small chainsaws. Well, mine gave up the ghost, and I borrowed three saws from a friend, two small ones and a larger one. As it turned out, I could not get either of the other two saws going, but I could get the larger one going. So here it is, a Husqvarna, and you will see more of it in Phase 4, Cutting Large Backyard Trees with Big Chainsaws. I'm best known for my book, Backyard Deer Hunting, but I have others too, like extreme muzzleloading, crossbow hunting, and also practical bow fishing, which is now available as an e-book. For more information on my books, blogs, videos, and radio show, Hovey's Outdoor Adventures, go to www.hoveysmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.